I've had some pretty strong afflictions, addictions. You know, I'm talking about things that I thought would never change. Like I was content on, you know, I'm taking this stuff to the grave with me. That's just how it is, you know. My life was always a mess, no matter what was going on. The rare moments where I wanted to stop certain behaviors, um, I couldn't. I uh, grew up in a family where God was never really talked about. I rode on that for years that, you know, I don't want to get to know God because God doesn't want to get to know me, you know, because of the things that I've done. And there's no possible way that God could love me because of what I've done. I just had this strong bitterness towards religion, towards churches, towards anybody that believed in God, you know, because I thought that, to me, that, that was a sign of weakness. And I know today that, that that is not true at all, that God does love me. I hadn't gone into a church for 20 years. I had this intuitive thought, if you want to call it that, of why don't you go check out a church? I called my friend Mark and he told me about Grace Point. You know, I walked in there and uh, I, was, I was scared to death because I didn't know what to expect. And what I found was God's love. I knew when I walked out of there that, uh, that there was a God that loved me, as unlovable as I thought I was. For me to walk in there feeling the way I felt and to walk out of there feeling 180 from that is, is a pretty powerful thing. You know, it's a, it's a big deal. You know, I know when something has changed inside of me and something has definitely changed inside of me for the better and I can feel it when I hear people talk about God's love. And, 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 how, and how great God is. You know, something changes inside me and it makes me cry. <laughs> it makes me emotional. And I'm, I'm, I'm really grateful for that. Stop beating yourself up. You're not this monster. You are not what you've done. You are not your mistakes. I didn't think that God could actually remove some of these defects of character that I've had, that I, I've had my whole life. Like I didn't honestly think that, that He could do it. I'm a believer today. I've seen it, I, I feel it inside me. I am okay with who I am today. I've never been okay with who I am. And I'm okay with my faults. I'm okay with my attributes. I'm, I'm okay with me in my own skin. And that's new for me.